Hi, I'm Russ Stringer with Adams Community Television. With me today, I have Charlie Test. Charlie, uh, it's great to have you here. And of course, we're sitting right by the tower that you constructed one day. I better not get in the way of it. <laughs> Come on over this way a little bit. Um, you want to tell us, like, first of all, you, you constructed this tower. Yeah, and I'm not very happy to be here. But yeah. I want to be here to see it uh, being destroyed. Yeah, it's pretty hard, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, what year did you construct the tower? We started in 1972, and uh, after the project was started, we uh, we had to hold up a little while, about six months, because the Governor Schapp was fighting with Tom Ottenstein, the owner, uh, because the governor did not want to see the tower, and uh, Tom Ottenstein wanted the tower built. So he won out in court, and we went to work after that. It took about a year and a half after that. So it, it opened about 1974. And took you a couple of years to build it. Right, about a year and a half, yes. Can you tell us, I know a lot of it was done from people in this area. I mean, I talked to a, a guy by the name of Gary Maitland today with Maitland Brothers, and they did some of the dynamite right. and some of that construction. Uh, but you hired a lot of the help from the area here. Oh, yes. Most, most of the help uh, came from the area. The uh, steel fabricator was from York. It was Atlas Manufacturing. Uh, they made a model out of wood first uh, to make sure it would work uh, from the architect's drawings. And uh, they came to us and said, we, we can uh, construct this tower out of tubing the way you want it done. And uh, they went ahead and uh, all the steel was made or cut and fabricated in York. It was sent to Baltimore then and, and uh, it was galvanized. And from that point it was delivered to the job site and the, the steel erectors went to work and put it, put it together for us. Now with the bolts and screws, I think at one time you mentioned a lot of those had to be shipped down to Baltimore? Everything went to Baltimore. All the bolts and uh, the nuts and the, everything at all that was galvanized had to go to Baltimore to be galvanized before it came to the job site. So that's quite a process then. Yeah, it, and was, a, it was a good, it was a big process, yes. And how many people did you have uh, working on it at one time? Well, uh, it, it varied. Uh, not exactly sure the amount of people, but we had uh, uh, steel erectors, we had excavators, and we had uh, a company out of Hanover putting a stairway in, which was uh, Hanover Iron Works. And uh, most of the people we tried to use were local, except for the steel erectors, and the crane came from Philadelphia. That's a pretty it, long trip for a crane, huh? Yeah, it was the only crane we could find that could reach 300 feet in the air. And of course they came first to check the job to make sure the crane would be able to get in onto the job site and uh, that worked out fine. Uh, the crane worked. We had the steel fabricators come in and uh, it went up just like a big erector set. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, if anybody could do it, I'm sure you could. Well, we, we tried our best to do a good job. Oh, uh, it's a wonderful job. How many uh, different bolts and things were in this? There's 15,000 bolts. Now the stairways were all welded together and the elevator shaft, which was steel columns, was all welded together too. But most of the tubing you see around the tower is all bolted together. And every joint that they put together just fit perfect. They didn't have to fabricate anything on the job to make it work. It all worked perfect. That's truly amazing. You know, yeah. just have that put together. Yeah, you're right. Um, and I, you know, I've never really taken a real hard look at the construction, but I, I don't think it's going to come down as easy as they think, especially but, if you built it. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think you're right. I think yeah. it's a, it, these people are experts, but the, the way the tower is built, it's, it's going to take an expert to bring it down. And uh, I hope they bring it down where it's supposed to fall anyhow. That's yeah. the main thing. And it took an expert to build it, too. And I know you're, both your sons are here, Randy and Brad, yeah. who are CW Test. They should come over here and take a look at this tower. Um, they both worked on the job. Is that right? Yeah, mostly labor work. They, labor they, work. They were what you call the cleanup crew. Oh. But they did start from the bottom and work their way all the way up the tower. Yeah. And their biggest complaint was that they had to use the steps since the elevator wasn't working during construction. Oh, is that the biggest complaint? Now look yeah. at these guys. There are a couple of hunks, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. Brad, um, when you were on the tower, did you work way up high on that tower? Oh, yeah, right at the top. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whoa. And Randy, too, huh? Same thing. They sent yeah. us to the top to do the cleanup work. I would yeah. think that would be to the cleanup work. <laughs> That's huh? it. Yep. And that was back in 1971. Uh, no, 74, 74. You finished it. Yeah. So yeah. how old were you guys? No, I won't ask you that. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, how old were you? We were both still in high school. Yeah. I was a senior, and Brad was a sophomore mm -hmm. at the time. Wow. So. That's pretty amazing. Let your boys go that high up. Yeah. So you guys have learned this business from the bottom up. 
Sure has. Yep. CW Test Builders from Hanover. I mean, this is a great Adams County company. You yeah, guys might be yep. York County, as close as you are to the line. Yeah, we're both. Yeah, we're <laughs> both <laughs> sides, right. but I know yeah. you do a lot of building in this area. So, um, what do you guys remember about the tire, the construction of it? I mean, you guys were kind of back in high school at that age. I guess probably at that time, at that age, we weren't paying that much attention to the uh, construction, that type of thing. Uh, as we said, we were working Saturdays with the cleanup crew coming in, and we were just uh, enjoying ourselves doing that. And, uh, Did you think this job was ever going to end? Eventually. Yeah, <laughs> and of course you trusted Dad, right? I that's mean, right. Dad they said, we're going to build this tower 307 feet. Yep. Is that right? Yeah, 307? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, I hate to ask you this, but I don't know how much it cost to originally build it. Does anybody have an idea? You have an idea. Well, I would say probably in the, in the area of 300, $300 million dollars. To build it? No. Yeah. Three million. Three million dollars. Oh, three million yeah. dollars yeah. to build it. Yeah, three million dollars. Yeah. yeah. And I understand that there's going to be a million dollars to take it down, and then they're going to negotiate the deal on how much they can sell it for. Is that right? Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's kind Effort's of a hard one. I wouldn't pick up any pieces until I made my deal with the government, I'll tell you that. I'd let it lay. Yeah. But that's kind of a different well, way I, of negotiation, isn't it? No doubt yeah. about it. I think yeah. the, the, uh, the people that are doing the, uh, the removal of the tower are also in charge of the cleanup. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't know what happens after they haul all the steel away. Then I think the Park Service gets involved, or the government gets involved in cleaning it up after that. The, um, the other thing is, I mean, I've, we're going to go interview quite a few other people out here today, but the, I have such mixed feelings all over the place. I don't really know anybody that wants the tower to come down other than the Park Service. I've, you know, talked to probably 50, 75 people. And, well, really, I haven't met anybody yet that wants to come down. I mean, I've heard that even from the fire department says it's going to lower the tax base in Adams County or Gettysburg Borough. Uh, as well as, you know, it's such a waste of good money. And, right. and I don't know no. that it is that eyesore. You made a good point earlier. You said something about the handicap. Can you reinstate that for us? Well, I, I think we, we've spent millions and millions of dollars all over this country to benefit the handicapped people. Uh, handicapped and aged. Absolutely. And, and, uh, and this is a, a great chance for them to come to Gettysburg, go to the top of the tower, get an idea of exactly where all the battles took place without having to drive around the battlefield and get out in their wheelchairs and, and see it in that manner. So I think it's a real disaster that we're removing the tower because we're affecting so many people that would really be able to use the tower. I agree. Yep. And that's a really good point. And all of us are going to get older. Yeah, definitely. very definitely. That's definitely, right. yes. Sure. Yep. And uh, it is harder to get around, you know. Sure. So that's a good point, too. Um, do you guys have anything else to add? Brad, do no. you have any memories from climbing up that well, I have set a lot of steps? Of memories of Is that it. right? <laughs> yeah. how, how long did it take you guys to get up those steps? Uh, I don't remember. It took a long time. It was we, a good workout was, just oh, going yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, when they put the stairs in, we went up the stairs with no handrails on when they were first putting the stairs in and so forth. And they were we working their top. way up, yeah, putting the railings up and so forth. Is that right? On the top. Now, do you guys have any fear of heights at all? No. Not back then. Yeah, great. Now nowadays. Do it now. Yeah, nowadays. I hear That's you. That's right. Yep. Well, you had a trusting dad let you guys go up there. That's now, right. would you let your kids go up there no. and build a tower? No. no. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't either. And I think one of your kids, Adam, is our uh, he's our technician photographer here today. Mm -hmm. So he's it's my doing son. A, yep. Yep. He's doing a great job. He works for Adams Community Television. Great, well, great boy. Yep. I want to thank you guys for the interview. Sure. Thank and you. Uh, yep. I'm sorry it's coming down. Well, we are too. All right, thank you. It's about 20 minutes after four on July 3rd, Monday. Uh, the tower has about 40 minutes before it's gonna be blown up. And you can see that the sky looks pretty raspy and we are out on 116 on the last battlefield road out. Uh, the other thing to note is that uh, if you take a look around, if we can pan around here, you're gonna see that there are so many people out here on this, on this road. Um, I actually don't know how they're going to get many more cars in Gettysburg. Um, I don't know what the estimate is, but I hear there are thousands and thousands of tourists out here. And with just 40 minutes left to go, you can't even find a parking place out here. And of course, we're all illegally parked out here on the battlefield and just waiting for the you know, battlefield park rangers to come by and give us all a ticket. So uh, we'll keep you updated. We'll do a couple more interviews. And of course, we're going to catch the uh, I don't know if you would call it an implosion because that's when a building actually collapses inside and comes down, but uh, we're going to catch the, the uh, tower. You're the guy I've been looking for. How are you doing? Nice meeting you. Um, tell me how you <clears throat> feel about uh, the way it was done. Well, I, I grew up in, in, uh, in Gettysburg and I uh, 
now live in, in Brooklyn, New York. And uh, I don't know, I think if they're gonna blow it up and they aren't gonna use it, I could really use it for a clubhouse or something like that. Yeah, I said they could put it in my backyard too. Yeah, exactly. I think it's a neat structure. I don't think they should get rid of it, personally. I never minded it and uh, I don't think it's an eyesore. And uh, I think it's bad for tourism to get rid of it. How do you feel about the way it was handled? I mean, it went right, boom, through the system really quick. I don't, I don't even know well, how. Well, I know that since, since the inception, since it was put up, it had been fought tooth and nail. The Park Service never liked it. And uh, I really don't know all that much about the, uh, the, the actual procedure that they went through, but it seems like uh, the owners of the tower got a bit of a raw deal. From, from, the, from the thing. Yeah, I understand they haven't even uh, settled on how much they're gonna sell it for at this point. Right. So it's quite different the way it's done. So, well, listen, you have anything else to say? I just wish things in Washington would really change. And maybe this, if this is the thing that has to go in order to get them to wake up, uh, then so be it. I have with me Jacqueline Zapata, and who are you, dear? Catherine. What's your name? Catherine. Catherine, how old are you, dear? Four. Four? I'm just a little bit older than that. <laughs> and who's this? And I'm Nettie Holmes. Hi, Nettie. And we're uh, sisters. You're sisters, huh? Mm -hmm. Probably. Gettysburg. All right, and well, who's this guy back here? He didn't come up here. That's my husband. Oh, that's your husband, huh? <laughs> well, Jacqueline, how, how do you feel about this tower coming down? Well, I'm sad to see it go. Yeah, it's, it's really, I've heard a lot of comments like that. Mm -hmm. You know, and not that it makes a lot of difference in everybody's lifestyle, but um, and you guys are Adams County, Gettysburg. You were born in Gettysburg, right? right. So you've been here all through the tower stage. Yeah, right. Unless you were born after 1974. Yeah, we, I can remember the, all the battles they had when it was going up. Can you remember them constructing the tower? And I, yeah. I remember the old site where they had started at the end of Long Lane, there at the end of Cole Park. And the platform stayed there for quite a, quite a while until they cleaned it up. Then they cleaned it up. And they decided not to build it there, and, right. then to build, and then they got special permission to put it over here. Right. Wow. It is truly amazing. And it, what an event. There are hardly any parking places around this town. <laughs> nope. So. Yes, we got here early. Yeah. We've been scouting this area for a couple days. Oh, have you guys? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. good. Well, Catherine, what do you think, dear? Say, I didn't get a chance to go up it. No. We want to go up this year. I think yep. they should let the people here in Gettysburg vote. Did they want it? You know, I've heard that a couple times, that if they could vote for it, it would have been... Right. It would have been nice, you know. Yeah, a lot of people said instead of the government just making a rash decision mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. to, to actually let the Adams County people make a decision. So, really hard to do. Hi, what's your name? Aaron. Aaron. Aaron what? Gephardt. Gephardt. Mm -hmm. Okay, and who are you? Kayleen. Kayleen? And Levi. Levi? Levi? That's quite a name. <laughs> so uh, where do you guys live? I live just right down the street from here. Right down the street. Um, and how do you guys feel about the tower coming down? Well, I think they should let people decide instead of just taking it down without anybody yeah. talking about it. And, and you? I, I agree with him. Have you ever been up in the tower? Um, Where, once. Levi, I don't want you. I don't want you to have iron, Levi. Here. Yeah. I have once, and my sister and my mom got stuck in an elevator before. They got stuck in the elevator. <laughs> that was well, pretty. They're probably fun. pretty famous then, huh? <laughs> yeah. And Levi, have you ever been up in the tower? I don't think they tried for them to take down the tower. It's not theirs to take it down. You're not ready for them to take it down, huh? Okay. Hey, this is Minnie Turner. Minnie, how you doing? Just fine. And you live here in Adams County? Yes, I live in Gettysburg now, but I, uh, I lived in Adams County all my life. And I understand that your sister owns the, for the farm next door, the, or at one time she did, next door to the battlefield on the road we're on. Yes, she sold, they sold it. Her husband died in, back in, a few years ago. And they sold it to... Whoever. Yes, whoever, yeah. that they aren't going to... Develop it, they're develop, just going to let it be. It, uh, yeah, there's a sign on the board down there what they're going to do. How do you feel about the tower coming down today? It could stay up for me because I've heard them arguing about other things around town and, and they're not going to get it back to... There's a lot of other things around town that interferes as much as the Well, tower that's probably does. very too. Do you remember when they built the tower? Oh, yes. Yeah. And they harped for probably a couple of years till they got it built. So they got it, yeah. Actually, the guy who built it is here today. Mr. Oh, he Test, is. yeah. 
Yeah, and you did a great job building it. So yes, it's a nice looking tower, and yeah. I don't say anything. Yeah, it's kind of like I was a, up, my husband and I were up in a couple different times. Yeah, it's like a piece of artwork to me. Yes, it it's is. Pretty neat, and so. I don't see anything wrong with it. No. I have Linda Creel with me. And Linda, where are you from? Biglerville. Oh, my God. Finally, somebody from Biglerville. I'm glad to see you're here. How, I'm how glad long, to be here. How long have you lived in Adams County? Since 71. Since 71. Well, they started the construction on the tower in mm -hmm. 72, I understand. Right. And it was finished in actually 74. Um, how do you feel about it? I feel sad. She's I feel sad. very sad. Uh, it's a, like they say, a classroom in the sky. And uh, I'm from western New York, so when I would have friends and relatives come down to visit, we would take them to the tower. It's the same thing I did. <laughs> and it's, it's just beautiful to be up there. And you yeah. just can, especially if it's, you know, a clear day. The fall is very beautiful to see the yeah. graveyard and things like that from the tower yeah. with all the stones. I know. I'm sad to see it go. I really, I yeah. really am. And We're, I don't think it's an eyesore. It's kind of fo a focal point. You know. Sure, absolutely. We've heard that a lot today. <laughs> yeah. You, so. you see it in the, you see it there and you say, Oh, we're close to Gettysburg. You right. Know? Yeah, well right? yeah, that's true. <laughs> when I drive in I say, Oh my god, we're getting I can find my way <laughs> home right. you, know, you can see the tower. So <laughs> Right, but so. um well I guess things must move on. You yeah, know? I guess. That's <laughs> progress, huh? Right. I don't know if you call or it that backwards or not. Or something. Backwards or that's something right. like that. Bob. Bob. And Bob, where are you guys from? From York County, Hanover. York County, Hanover. Right. Um, how do you guys how do what do you guys think about this tower well, coming down? I, I think it's terrible. I think they gave him permission to build the tower, then they turn around and they want it down. I just think the they ought to tear all your stuff around it's surrounding the darn tower. They ought to take out of the way too. I mean, McDonald's was never there. They never had this. The uh, monuments were never monuments, here. The monuments was never there. Why don't they take all that stuff out? Yeah, I mean, I, it's a pretty confusing it, issue, I know. And, yeah, it is. And a lot of people think, are just. I thought there was a lot of educational to it, too. You know, at, people going well, yeah. up through there. And I tower. think Mr. Tess made a good point that it's good for handicapped people to view the tower and stuff like that. It gives right. them access to, Absolutely. you know, go up in a wheelchair and then look around the entire right. uh, yeah. battlefield. So, yeah. and a battlefield's not easy to get around. I mean, I know you can travel in a car, but if you really want to see some yeah. of the finer points, you need to get out. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's, that's the way we did it. I had to, everybody has to go out to do it. We got out to do that. And go, up, go up the tower. We enjoyed it very much. And how old were you when you first visited the battlefield? Oh, my Lord. I'm going back. <laughs> I would say maybe uh, 16. 16? So 16. you've been around it quite a few years yeah, then? Oh, yeah, quite a few yep. years. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Well, you know, I, 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 I know I enjoy going around the battlefield. We ride our yeah. bikes around there a lot. Well, we're getting ready to witness the implosion. It should be going down within 10 seconds from what I heard. So have a look. With me is Katie Lahan, and Katie's with the National Park Service. And Katie, uh, you can kind of tell us where the tower was. This is the first shot that we're going to have of what's left of the tower. That's right. You, you can all kind of the first ones in here. I'll stand back a little bit. Maybe you can point a couple things out for us. Well, what you're looking at is the debris pile, and it is essentially sitting on top of its footprint, the tower footprint. This is the area where people used to walk in and go up the tower. And uh, some of those are the railings that were at the top decks of the tower that you can see behind us. And it came pretty close to the cemetery back here, right? I mean, that, it didn't quite make it to the cemetery, but it only missed it by about 10 feet, <laughs> I would say. Yeah, well, it wasn't, the footprint of the tower wasn't very far from the cemetery. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, but it was, they evidently did a great job bringing it down. And yeah, I know, it's pretty amazing to see that fence sitting there. It pretty is. Much undisturbed. Yeah, the that's what I thought. Pretty undisturbed. And it's hard to imagine 307 feet up in the air and boom, 11 pounds of explosives. And what do you think, 22 seconds? This is yeah, what they or said. Or less. I'm not, is or that less. what they said? Yeah. It's truly amazing. It is uh, amazing. And we see the cable behind us. Now, do you know what that cable was to do? Was that I cable? I believe that was in case there was a high wind. In case there was a wind. Yeah, it was a safety yeah. measure. So. Well, that's nice. I mean, we can still see the cable. And, of course, this is the old parking lot people used to park in. Right. And there's the, uh, I guess this was the where you bought your tickets to go up yeah, in the tower? Yeah, and then the gift shop. And then the gift shop. So, well, Katie, how do you feel about it? 
Well, it's been a long day, but I think we did the job, and hey, I think it was a safe operation. So congratulations. You did a thank great you. job. Thank and you thank you much. for the interview. We had a big team. Yes, you did. Thank a you. big team from all over. There's, there's yeah. park rangers from all over the United States here. Well, pretty much. I mean, we got some of the best experts on putting events together because safety had to be the number one priority. Oh, you a lot of logistics to take care of. A lot of people. I've never seen this many people in Gettysburg. Yeah. Seriously. You guys did a great job. Thank you.